back before all this hysteria hit this country and we had a normal life, I was uh, going out to dinner a lot, something we do here, you know? It's, it's one of the great pleasures of China, is incredible food, different types of restaurants, experiencing that, not just the, the food, but going out with people and friends and being part of a community. When you're shut off from the world and isolated, then you really start to appreciate that aspect of China. And over the last couple of months, I was putting together a series of the different restaurants here in Zhongshan. So every time I go out to dinner, I would film it. Just, here's the restaurant, here's the food, and here's the video. I hope you enjoy it. This place is called Salad Hay, and it's a lot of salad places that are similar to this. The only problem with this place is that there's no menu, so you can't come in and sit down and order something off of a menu. Everything is done via Meituan, which is the online food delivery service. So if you come here, you have to have a Meituan account and have it essentially delivered to your table. It's kind of unfortunate, really. So we got it, you custom make your own salad. So it's got quinoa and some lettuce underneath. You got strawberries, chicken breast, avocado, sausage, mango, and beans. So it's super, super healthy. It comes with a dressing on the side. And uh, let's dig in, shall we? This particular one is near Ocean Plaza, and there's another one near uh, Lihe Plaza. And it's just very healthy and very delicious and won't break the bank. You can get a salad here for about 30 kwai. And uh, they also have some Ben Mi sandwiches that are okay. But more than anything, it is just a dedicated salad place that you can come on your own. You don't have to share a salad with somebody and have a nice lunch. Of course, you can come to Japanese restaurants and have all the sushi you want. That's very healthy, as long as it's fresh and clean. Many of the sushi places in like the malls and everything, I've gotten sick at. Today before my badminton practice, uh, I'm having dinner at this restaurant that's hidden. I mean, there's a main highway over there. <laughs> but I'm told some of the best restaurants in town are like hidden. And like, look at this, this is in some back alley. And I'm gonna walk down this little, it looks really nice. You got a little pond and outdoor seating. It's supposed to be very healthy. So this first one that came out is a kind of a, a seafood salad of shrimp and it's got something they call sea, sea grapes. I'm not quite sure what it is. These here, this right here. I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm gonna try it here. Um, and it's got some fruit and mango and uh, actually it looks really good. All right, this is a pumpkin soup with what, what do you call the little things again? And it's really, really good. It's a little sweet, but very, very healthy. So this last one that we're getting is a uh, sweet potato and eel in a lotus root. Mm. Mm. Fantastic.
So this is a new place. I met this guy, the owner, his name is Andrew. And this little tiny, it's right next to Burger King, near Liha. And this little tiny little stand, they serve kind of Mexican fusion food, it looks like. A very interesting menu, but it's got like a Malaysian twist to it. So they got potato wedges, different coleslaw, tuna, egg mayo, and tarts, curry beef tarts, interesting. Uh, quesadillas, they got a double cheese bacon quesadilla and burritos, curry beef, egg mayo, coleslaw burrito. Very interesting. And these are the potatoes, the baked potatoes, it looks like. And of course, like many things here in China now, when you order, you know, you can order at the stand, but what you do is you scan this QR code and you order on WeChat. This is, um, they call the super combo. So it's a bacon and cheese quesadilla. This is a bacon and cheese potato and a coleslaw tart with a lemonade. All this cost me 39 RMB. I've mentioned the Pizza Hut breakfast before. For 29 RMB you get unlimited coffee and this. Not the healthiest of breakfasts, but it's a little taste of home. What do you what do you call this place again? Chin Ma. Chin Ma. Yeah, it's like um, one of these music venues, right? So they have great dinners at nine o'clock. They turn off all the lights and they have live music and lots of drinking. And this tofu and gravy is amazing. And of course, you can get the cauliflower, but make sure that they get it with very little oil. And of course, you need a good drink to go with it. So the trick is to find healthy foods with not a lot of oil. Here in Southern China, most of the food is just drowning in cooking oil. So it's very difficult. So even when you order it, you say very little oil or no oil, it's still gonna be drowning in oil. So this beef, this cauliflower still has an awful lot of oil in it. So we're always looking for like foods with no oil. <laughs> These are really good. These are like little tostadas. Um, filled with beef and and tomato and and cucumber. Oh, they're so good. I'm gonna try and eat this on camera. Right? I'm gonna make a mess out of this. Oh no, it's already broke. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's so amazingly good. Mm. Twice per month on the lunar calendar, the first of the month and the 15th of the month, um, the Goyim Buddhists uh, only eat vegetables, no meat. So we've come to a vegetable restaurant today. And it's in this little back alley in Zhongshan. It's impossible to find, a very small little restaurant. We're the only ones here. And uh, so far we've got these little cakes, I guess. Okay, so I don't know what this is. It tastes like chicken, but it's not, it's a vegetable. Mmm, it's really good. I love I love vegetarian restaurants. And of course we have some some jiaozi. This is mala tang. Mala tang is a very popular kind of a soup, you know, do it yourself soup. You just Pick all your meats and all your vegetables. And very, very healthy depending on what you put in there. Lots of vegetables. This one I have some eggs. It's got some lotus root, uh, some tofu. I got some broccoli in there. Oh, delicious. I'm walking into the Carrefour, which is like a giant Walmart or Target. I like to come here and get some fresh fruit, you know, some freshly cut fruit. Um, and they have pretty good vegetable selection too. Right here, they'll make you a little jembing godzit, which is not very healthy, but it's a delicious little snack. And then here you can get some chow fun, uh, noodles, fried rice, and then they have this. they have tonight. This is not healthy at all. There's way too much oil, and they just pile on the rice. But it is a very inexpensive meal. You can get 
a really filling meal, almost too much food really, for about $1.30.